Okay, so I decided to show off my race this way to show off the action a lot better. Um, let me hook up my controller here. There we go. So <laughs> qualifying in the ultimate mode is ridiculous. So I thought I was having good pace, but no, it's, the difficulty is insane. And um, I, I do better with races anyway. Um, I tend to drive a lot better when I'm following the car. That's when I learn, you know, which gear I should be on when I switch, you know, going around a certain corner, going to, into the chicane, stuff like that. But yeah, so right now I'm, I'm in last. So I'm just playing it slow and trying not to rush things and just basically um, keeping a good pace and be consistent so that's that's my whole thing just stay consistent and you know I, I go whew, turn wide a few times but it's, it's hard this track is so hard and um, and, and of course I have the fan attack um, club sport that I just got like a week and a half ago and I'm, I'm still learning um, the low cell pedals is good god that thing is stiff so I'm not using the low cell right now I'm just using the regular brakes but anyway here we go with the race <laughs> Okay, so this whole race was chaotic, really chaotic. Um, let me see if I can uh, switch to this view here. So when I'm playing, I pause a lot to see what's going on, like every, every little caution, I pause to, to check out, you know, what happened um, but I think by now let me switch to a better view of the wing I think somebody up front have already lost something it might be this next turn actually nope no one lost anything yet so let's see I know I know that people were losing their wing, front wing, left and right. And um, <laughs> Latifi here, right here. So I turned wide, not on purpose, um, because I, I didn't want to run in the back of my teammate um, here on this turn because I came close. Because, you know, when I'm following this close, I always tend to go a little wider so I don't hit the person that I'm, you know, following. But Latifi here sees an opening, but I'll, I'll play it in regular motion here. So if I see that, I would, I would go too. But he came in. But see, he came right in on me. See, this, this whole game, they try to damage your car so you drive slower but he comes so instead of him going a little wider he I know he can see me and I think I'm I'm I mean I guess I could be a little over to the left but I mean I already turned wide you know I'm just going looking for going into my turn and he came right at me and hit me didn't lose his wing but he lost control spun into the wall and crashed and after that it all went downhill for me because it triggered a safety car and with the safety car I'm on saw so I'm you know I gamble 
to be on soft to get move up the field. So now we're all driving slow because tra safety car is being triggered. Uh, so that's that's the first incident. This there's a whole bunch of incidents. Um, I think later on, right after the restart, some people completely loses their front wing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up. But I was playing this game. I had the F1 2020. I didn't play on it very much because I only had a controller and I sucked at driving with a controller. You know, I, th I think people that knows how to operate a vehicle and converting the driving on a controller is especially racing I don't I don't see how they can do it wait is it a restart okay so the race restarted and let's check out some front wing I think um nobody lost anything yet Well, somebody's about to lose something. I <laughs> know somebody's about to lose something. So let's keep going. Here. So right here, I'm just, oh, they're, they already lost the wing. I kind of fast forward through it. But R Ricardo didn't lose the wing. He just, I don't know what's going on with him this race. Um, <laughs> he just kept getting himself in trouble. Vettel, yeah, he Sebastian lost his wing. George Russell, let me see if I can go back. He had to pit because I think him and Sebastian got into it. Yeah, that was him going into the pit. Um, yep, he completely lost his front wing right at the restart here it is so here they are coming let's turn into this view here him and Lando Norris racing each other I think this one might have been Lando's fault because um, he well he lost control and ram <laughs> George Russell because you can see he just locked up there. Bam. And Lando Norris came out good on that one because he didn't pit. George Russell pit. Let's see who else pitted. Um, not Piastri. Uh, Magnuson pit too, so something happened with Magnuson. But yeah, like I said, this whole race was so it was chaotic. So here I am, just you know, steady, steady going, just steady following. I don't, I don't want any incidents at all. I'm trying to have a good, keep clean race, and you know take my chances when I see them and I'm like nope I'm, I'm not gonna push it here so and this turn here I seem to do a lot better when I go a little wider and, and not you know following the racing line and the computer do a brake check on you on that curve very very often so I tend not to follow as close here. I, I I I just slow down real early and just try to follow them. So I'm just you know buying my time, waiting for a chance to sneak by. And these two up here, Lance Stroll and Oscar, they they've been fighting for a while. So Oscar finally moved up. <laughs> now he's fighting with Albon, so 
And I'm like, come on, stop driving side by side. You know, come on, pass each other. So I'm going to try to take a chance to go wide here. Because every time when I try to go, you know, on the inside, terrible things always happen. And right here, like I said, I'm just trying to keep it steady, trying to keep up, oops, trying to keep up a good pace, trying to keep it consistent. I want to go wide there. And um, there's my chance to pass. So, and I'm already thinking, okay, I got to give him space, go a little wide. But I made the move stick. So Oscar is next. Um, I wish there was a way to get. Ooh, I was a little late on the brakes, and another bad thing about me playing right now is I'm playing with my socks, and sometimes when I really press on the brakes, my foot slips. So. <laughs> Uh, that's why I put it on the feedback because when, when my foot slips on the brake and you know I mean the brake when I do mean the brake and it, my foot just slips and I'm going on the inside with this one is not an optimal turn for me there I usually be in third gear and just kind of ride it out towards the apex and then I you know gradually put on the gas and right there let me go back. I just got bumped in the back. Right here. I think this could be my fault. I thought, you know, he would have slowed down here. But he didn't slow down. And he came right into me. But good thing, you know, I didn't lose anything. Took no damage. But it almost made me crash into my teammate. So I'm just like, okay, Oscar, I am on soft. You need to let me pass, but he is playing defensive. <laughs> there is no team orders going on here. And I I have a little problem with this little chicane part right here sometimes. But you know, it's it's hard to try to keep up with the same speed as the CPU sometimes. So here here seems to be like I'm, I'm faster around here than the CPU and sometimes I, I mess up this turn so bad I know it's coming but sometimes I'm just like you know late on the brakes and I go wide I got I got like a couple of warnings on this race for going really wide but I you know I didn't take any penalties but here now I finally passed Oscar so I thought but nope he, here he comes again there's no team orders <laughs> so he's he's right on my tail but up the road I think um somebody I think maybe the next lap or two, somebody's about to lose some more front wing. Yeah, I don't see anything yet. But here, go back to the action back here. So Oscar is chasing me down. <laughs> and I'm like, it's okay to chase me down. Just, you know, let me leave. Just follow me. And I'll, I'll catch us up to the, you know, well, I'm trying to pull us to the middle of the track. To the middle of the pack, I mean. But I think Oscar finally slowing down, but he's going to, see, I went wide on that turn because I'm a little late on the brakes. Um, my foot slipped a couple times on this race, though. Um, he's right behind me. <laughs> he got the DRS. Now he's going to try to pass me, I think. But nope. Nope, not this time. But yeah, so hopefully next game they'll, they'll have like team orders, you know, to just, hey, don't fight your 
you know oh there we go so looks like land was that lando no that's ricardo <laughs> yeah i think um ricardo came in like too hot there so i'm gonna play it at full speed and yeah he i think he was thinking about doing the dive bomb but he he hesitated and bam lost his front wing but yeah, this race is so chaotic so i'm here like you know i'm, I'm complaining to myself I'm like damn it oscar let me try you know you're slowing me down i'm trying to catch us up to the other people but oscar <laughs> keep on trying to hold me back so anyway i think after this is where i finally said uh you know enough is enough i'm just gonna leave him in the dust and I'm, I'm gonna try to push it a little bit more um yeah i think this is when i started pushing it so i'm over a second ahead of him now so i'm like okay i'm i'm not gonna pull you up the field anymore <laughs> Because, I mean, I was catching up, and now like, I'm back to over three seconds away from the next car. So, let's go see if there's any action up here. Looks like four cats. Yep. He is right behind Sonoda here. Got the DRS. Keeping up on some mega. And is he gonna make the move stick? Nope, they did touch wheels though. He didn't make the move stick. And Albon just dropped the paint. Oh yeah, there's something going on with his car. Because he just lost two spots there. And that's me pitting because those tires, man. They were, I think they were at like almost 60%, maybe more by then. Because they, they were beginning to be completely dead. So, And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to come out completely last. And then I totally forgot about the incidents with <laughs> Ricardo. He had to pit because Lando took him out. And, and look at Lando from that head. He's in sixth place. So obviously he didn't take any damage to his car. So let's see. Valkyrie Bolta still hadn't passed the motor yet. I think he's just playing it safe. And looks like Perez just lost his spot. And here comes Carlos Sun. Ooh, they touched there. A little friendly competition bump. And I guess Perez didn't like that. He just took off. And Max is right behind them. One, two, three, four. No, not close anymore. But yeah, oh my god, Charles McClure, he's just untouchable. I mean, he's freaking qualifying. It's untouchable. He was more than three seconds ahead of me in qualifying. That's, that's ridiculous. I mean, I can see me, you know, getting better, getting maybe a second, maybe a little over a second better, but I don't see... He's getting three seconds better on this track. It's crazy. Not with, you know, the first season of round two car. It's, it's impossible. <laughs> so, Gasly is right behind Alcon. Alonzo's, ooh, making a move on Gasly. Is he going to make it stick? Looks like he's going to make it stick. He can, he's coming in hot. Both of them coming in hot. Oh! Nope, he did not make that move stick. 
We played it safe there. Looks like Bortas just finally passed Sonoda. Sonoda's trying to come back on him. Big wheel touch. Oh, Bortas just lost control a little bit there. Sonoda got it back. Oh, man, did he... Did he get damage? Oh, yeah, he got wing damage. That's why he can't... That's why he came in. Okay, so no more action from them. A lot of people are pitting anyway to hards now. Gasly's on hard. Alonso switched to hard. Russell hasn't pitched yet. Schumacher is going to stay out for another lap. So is Magnussen. Okay. Oscar finally came in for his hard tires. Joe stayed out as well. Hamilton already pit. Oh my god, he's so fast. He's way up there, so. And I'm back here on medium tires, so I'm banking on medium tires to move up the field. And I'm thinking, okay, let's try to get at least 11th. And if I can catch up to the 11th, and I'm, I'm looking at the time at this point. And I'm like, okay, they're way, way far ahead. So just see if you can try to get to the 11th place. But I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Because Bottas, after he had to pit to change out his wing, he lost some time. And he is just blocking my progression here. And right now, I'm just like, okay, I've, I've been racing good. I've been going steady. I'm right behind a car. This is a good race. Just be careful. Don't pick up any damage. Just follow him and take the opportunity when it comes. Um, oh, looks like something happened to Sonoda up here. Oh, he finally pit. And... Alcon is pitting. Just came out of the pit. Okay. So, yeah. See, I when I actually play, I pause a lot. <laughs> and I, I try to look to see what's going on. See maybe if I can move up. So, I see myself moving up to the 13th. And I'm like, oh yeah. I should be able to catch up to the 11th place. Because everyone is on hard tires. Everyone's gonna switch to hard tires, and I'm going, you know, banking on my exit out the corner. Um, I, because I'm pretty gentle on the gas on my way out of the corner, so my tire wear is pretty good. So I'm, I'm just like, you know, betting that I can gain a lot of places from going medium. And I cannot get past Bortas. I mean, he is holding me up. He's doing a good job holding me up. But at this point, I'm watching the time to see if Bortas is actually catching up to Sonoda. And he's not. He's actually, you know, losing a little bit of time. Um, and then at certain points, and I'm like, okay, he is catching up. And then I'm, I'm looking at it again. No, he's not catching up. He's holding me back. So I, I think right now, I'm, I'm already thinking, okay, this is where I made the move, and it didn't stick because I try to go wide. Every time I try to cut on the inside on the CPU, things go terribly wrong. And here, I finally get jump on him, and going for the pass I overshot that and thank god I slowed down fast enough and that is move done but he's still right behind me so I can't relax yet so I'm I'm usually a little faster through here than the CPU if I do this whole chicane right and which I did so I jumped up another two tenths lead on Botas. So now I'm just trying to get out of his DRS range. So I'm trying to push it just a little bit. I think I'm, I'm breaking late on this corner. 
Nope. I took that corner straight. I gained another two tenths on both ties, but the DLS is coming up soon, and I know it. And he's gonna catch up again. Here he comes. He's 0 0.6 behind now. 0 0.5. <laughs> oh my God! And I'm like, okay. Right here, I'm thinking, okay. After this, I got I gotta try to make this turn like really really good and I really stuck that turn really tight um, if we go back like really really tight through the wall and punch the gas early to see if I can get um, a few tenths off of him but nothing he was actually right behind me right after he got the DRS and I'm like oh god I mean, I just, you know, gamble on the whole race trying to hug that wall to try to speed out of that corner to get out of the DRS range, but nope, that did not work in my favor. So, and I'm like, okay, just keep my head calm and just keep doing what I'm doing. Steady race, and I went wide there. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? I just, I, I, I'm like, I just told myself, just keep calm, keep it steady, just keep racing like, you know, I'm racing. And it'll come. So, as the race goes on, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm catching up to Sonoda. You know, I'm over here paying attention to Botas, and I'm like, I'm, I'm catching up to Sonoda. <laughs> so, by this point, I already forgotten about Botas. And I'm like, okay, he, he already had the DRS on me twice. There's no way he's going to be able to catch up to me now. He, he, he's pretty far back from me now that I feel a lot more comfortable. So now I'm starting to push it. I'm trying to hug the wall again so I can punch out a little earlier. And nope, it didn't help. It seems like the CPU is really good on that corner. And he gained three almost three tenths <laughs> through that and I'm like okay I'm thinking to myself what the hell am I doing wrong with that corner I, I need a way a better way to improve on that corner um, so here now I'm just trying to be careful here not to go wide so I don't lose any more time I'm just trying to come up through here I went a little wide there but I'm under a second behind him. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm doing good. Doing good. I'm just like, okay, just keep it, you know, within a second so I can get the DRS and keep up with Sonoda and try to pass Sonoda. And I'm like, you know, I'm in 11th place. I was shooting for the 11th place, but I see 10th right in front of me. Might as well try to push it. So I'm, I'm pushing, I think I'm going wide on this corner, trying to push, nope, not this time, and I think I came out of that little chicane there, pretty good, but no, it's not, so note is back up to 1.3 seconds ahead, and I'm like, what is going on, so I made that turn better, and I actually gained some time. I got the DRS going and Alonzo had an engine failure, I think. Yep, he had an engine failure. Poor Alonzo. He was doing good. So back to me. I got the DRS trying to keep up with him. And I'm still losing time, even though I've got the DRS going. This car, you know, sucks. <laughs> I can't, I can't get any, you know, arrow. There's, there's nothing. There's, there's not a whole bunch of upgrades on here, and I'm just like, you know, trying to drive my best, trying to keep up with them. But you know, I usually catch up to the CPU through that whole chicane back there. And I do. I'm, I'm 0.3 behind Sonoda. 
And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to go wide. And nope. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna risk it because I didn't wanna risk pissing the wall there. Yeah. And here I'm just like, okay, don't follow too close because he's gonna do a brake check on me. I love doing brake checks on people. And uh, here I'm like, okay, I'm following too close. See, I always get in trouble trying to follow them too close. So I just let him go a little bit because my reaction to the brake check is all that great right now because I just switch oh here is when I took the inside on him. But yeah switching from the controller to you know the red wheel drive was a big change. Big change. When I was on the controller I had um, traction control on um, full at first and then when I got better I took it off gradually kicking things off as I got better. And um, until this day, I can't play the traction control off on the controller. I can with the direct wheel drive because I can feel it through the steering wheel when the wheel spinning. That makes any sense. So I'm, right now, I'm, I'm already excited. I'm like, okay. So, with, you know, Alonzo being out. I was, I got one point, and I'm like, okay, I got one point, I'm happy, and then I was right behind Sonoda, and I'm like, okay, I'm about to get another point, so I think this is as far as I go. This is pretty damn good, if you ask me, so I've been, you know, trying to focus on a clean race. I went wide a couple of times, um, had no incidents until later on towards the race and here comes Sonoda he wants that spot back he's still fighting me because the CPU in a straight line with the DRS they're uh, so overpowered and there you go passing me again and I'm like okay you can have this I'm gonna pass you again later down the road just don't Hold me up. I want to try to move up another spot if I can. And I'm, you know, that's what I'm thinking at first. And I'm like, you know what? That's not going to happen. He's way too far ahead. And he's, you know, like over eight seconds, eight, nine seconds ahead of me. The eighth place, anyways. I still got to pass the nota again. So, and I'm like, okay. I'll be happy with 10th place if I can't pass the Nota again, but I am gunning for it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this race up now. I think I stay behind him for quite a while. Um, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to keep it steady, trying to keep a good clean race and just be consistent. Noda's not behind me anymore. Oh, yeah, he is still behind me. So, and I'm like, okay, I can't pull away from him. So, right now, I'm checking to see if I have any, you know, body damage on the car. Because I am not, you know, gaining. So, Noda just passed me again. And I passed him again with the same move that I did before. Um, for some reason, the car seems to work out in my favor when I go wide on, on a few of these turns. And then, here I go again, going wide on him, give him a little friendly nudge. He went wide. So, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to keep this spot. Four laps left, but that's not going to happen. He's... He, do not want to lose ninth place. So I never caught up to um, Pierre Gasly because Sonoda keep fighting me. <laughs> I mean, it was an exciting race. Don't get me wrong, but you know, in my view, and I'm like, okay, 
my medium tires are almost shot. There's no way I can move up the field now. So, and I'm thinking, okay, I should have better grip than the hard tires that he's using, but it's just their, their straight line speed and the DRS, once they get that, it's just, they, they automatically catch up to you. It's crazy. So he, here he goes trying to make a move on me again, but he didn't make it stick. He actually lost a little bit of time there, and I'm like, okay, I need to get at least one second away from him. And I'm like, oh, I was so close, but he, he got the DRS on me again. And I'm like, okay, I can't get rid of him. And here, when I got to this point, I saw the time. Okay, 1.2, 1.2, keep it at 1.2. I'll be out of his DRS. And I think I messed up a turn right up here because I got so excited of being out of his DRS. I, I started to relax a little bit and I think it's this turn right here that I went, why? Nope. Oh no, I slowed down on that turn. Okay. It was one of these turns that I went wide and Sonoda caught up to me again. Not this one. See, he caught up again. I don't, I don't know what I did wrong, but Sonoda is right on my ass again. Got the DRS on me again. At one point, I was up 1.4 second out of the DRS range, and he is he was back in and I'm like okay I gotta keep pushing it there's two more laps I can do this I can do this you know just keep ninth place there's no way I can catch up to Gasly now I'm like just try to keep it steady here so as you can see here and I'm like okay let's go push it a little bit push it a little bit I felt the tires slip there a little bit I'm like okay I'm pushing it too much <laughs> slow down a little bit Right here, I know I could have taken that a little harder, but you know, I felt the tire slip and I didn't want to, you know, throw a beautiful race that I, I just did away. And towards the end here, look at this, he's point two. He's right on me. So, right here, and I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna get the DRS, he's gonna pass me. I'm just gonna let him pass me and then pass him later on down the field on the last lap. I'll try to get the last, well, not the last DRS, but the DRS before last, pass him and play defense. So, right here, I'm just keeping it cool, following behind him. And I see, I know I can take, you know, probably get a little closer if I go a little wider, but nope. You know, I was still a little scared when I felt the tire slipping. And I pushed it as close there. I almost ran into him. But, you know, I'm just trying to keep close to him so I can make the pass. And right after this little chicane part is where I make my attack. And I, I really push it through. I usually don't push it through it all that hard because here I am. I just got the DRS. Gonna make the move on him on the outside. And he gives me the bump. A little friendly bump. And he's bumping me again. And I'm like, no, you can't have it. You cannot have it. I give him a little space. Nope. Trying to give him the squeeze. And I got ninth. <laughs> Oh my god, what a race, and I was like, okay, I would have been happy if I got a lot of place, you know, that was, that's like midfield, being in that car at midfield, it, it would have been damn good, but anyway, that's race two, I'll be back for race three probably in the next day or two, <laughs> thanks for watching. Peace.